Hey there and welcome back to News at 4. Meteorologist Julia Quady. So the heat is definitely on here in the coastal bend. So much so that now we got heat advisories on deck for us for the remainder of this afternoon as we start to approach the evening hours later on tonight. I have more details about that for the long in the forecast. Right now, take a look though at our CCAC Whataburger Sky Cam over Whataburger Field. We can see those mostly clear sunny skies. Got a little bit of cloud cover as we look further off into the distance and that's going to be due to those coastal showers are still brewing off into our coastal waters. We saw them coming a little bit closer inland and impacting some few areas earlier this afternoon but now they're starting to fizzle out and for the most part we're all looking at mostly sunny skies for the remainder of this afternoon but like I said that heat is definitely on. We're feeling it with our feel like temperatures going up to 110 degrees or more for this afternoon so for that reason we do now have some heat advisors on deck for us in San Patricio, Nueces, and Claiborne counties here for this afternoon. All of them will continue to be in place until 7 o'clock this evening when they will finally expire. But again, we'll be dealing with those feel like temperatures ranging from 110 all the way up to 114 degrees for an extended period of time this afternoon for at least two hours or more. So again, that heat is on. You want to make sure you're practicing all your heat safety tips to stay on the safe side of things to beat this heat. So it means taking plenty of breaks if needed, staying cool, getting some time in that air conditioning, and most importantly, drinking drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated to make sure you're not getting dehydrated as you're combating this heat for today. <clears throat> Excuse me, and now taking a look at our current temperatures, feel like temperatures all across the coastal bend. This is the reason why we have those heat alerts in deck. That's particularly for areas that are in San Patricio, Nueces, and Claybrook counties. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, but um, for our temperatures, all of us are sitting around into the low 90s, around 93 degrees, 92 in Robstown, 94 in Kingsville. But for our feel like temperatures, all of us are looking at a little bit above 110 degrees or more, and that's why we said we're looking at those heat alerts being on deck for us for those three counties I mentioned just a moment ago. So looking at our feel like temperatures, we're still going to be combating that heat for just a few more hours here, finally maybe dropping out of that range where we're seeing that uh, range for us to have those heat advisories on deck for us here in Corpus Christi in New Essex County. Starting to drop out of that as we start to approach the 7 o'clock hour, and that's when we're anticipating that heat advisory to expire here. But we'll still be looking at <clears throat> excuse me, some intense heat still on deck for us, still looking at us being in the triple digits even as we start to approach the evening hours, and finally starting to drop off into the 90s as we get closer to midnight, heading into the early hours on your Wednesday. But like I said, we are seeing a little bit of those cloudy conditions as we look ahead to our coastal waters, and that was giving us a couple coastal showers that were being pushed in thanks to that sea breeze. Now they start to head into later afternoon hours. We're starting to see a little bit of that diminishing at this point, so that's starting to allow us to have some more sunshine for us, which actually added to why we're seeing, of course, that more intense heat coming into our area for this afternoon. Now taking a look at our rain state chances, they're going to be pretty dismal at this point, kind of non-existent, but there is a chance looking ahead of tomorrow morning, we might see a slight similar situation that we saw today head to for tomorrow for your Wednesday. See a couple more coastal showers that could get pushed in thanks to that sea breeze creating that situation where we could see a couple stray showers popping into the forecast early tomorrow morning for your Wednesday. But actually taking a quick look what's going on in the tropics for now it's pretty quiet but we do have this one system that's now just turning a little bit just a pocket of some poorly organized thunderstorms at this point, but there is a chance though tracking it low, albeit for the National Hurricane Center, but they are forecasting the system to maybe make its way through the Caribbean. But right now we are tracking a big plume of Saharan dust that's going to continue to make its way through that same region, even coming up to us here in the coastal bend. So that is a good thing because Saharan dust limits the formation of anything happening in the tropics. But for us, it does cause a little bit of respiratory issues. So that's to come potentially for us with that impacting us late on your Friday continuing into your weekend. But looking ahead to that too, there is a chance we could see some more shower action returning back to the forecast with widespread showers and thunderstorms beginning as early as Friday.